today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a, a distance default test and what I have is a uh, test transmission system consisting of an antenna. I have six feet of jumper. I have approximately 33 feet of LDF 550A transmission line and then I also have another six foot jumper connected to my test cable. Very important to have a diagram of your system so you know exactly what's in it. So when you're doing a distance default test you want to set up your frequency range and I have mine set up from 700 megahertz to 1100 megahertz. We generally go a little bit wider than what our system frequency is. Then I need to set up some uh, distance default information and you would press the DTF icon and this menu will uh, show up. So I'm going to change my units to feet. I'm going to set my, my start, start distance is at zero. I want to set my stop distance. Well if you remember I've got a six foot jumper, 33 foot of cable, another six foot jumper, and two or three feet of antenna. So that comes up to approximately 45 feet. I want to add about 10 or 20 percent on the end of my distance default. So I'm going to set my stop distance to 60 feet. I need to select my cable because there's two components of cable information we need which would be the velocity and the cable loss. So I'm going to scroll through the cable list until I get to LDF 550A and that's going to populate my, dis, uh, my cable parameters at 89% velocity and 0.0126 dB of loss per foot. <clears throat> so I have my cable information set up. The other thing I want to select are my data points. The more data points, the more resolution you get, the further into a cable you can see. So I have my cable information. So I have all the information I need. Um, for my suite. So what I'm going to do, it's very important that you calibrate the instrument. Anytime you make a change to the frequency, anytime you change in your distance to fall information, you need to calibrate. Always look for this correction on. But to be safe, I'm just going to, you know, my, my correction is still on, but just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and recalibrate. It only takes a second. I'm going to calibrate out to the end of my test cable so it removes this from the measurement. Do the open. And do the short. <clears throat> and then I do the load. Now I know I have a good calibration. And now I'm going to connect up into my antenna system. I'm off the screen a little bit with my sweep, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust my scale. I'll set my top scale to zero. I'm going to set my bottom scale to minus 70.
And what I'm going to do is use some markers. So I have a marker on, and I want to go to the max peak, which is right here. And I'm very, very close to zero at about 39 feet. Well, if you remember, I have a six foot jumper, 33 foot of transmission line, another six foot jumper, and my antenna. So if I was looking at my antenna, I would be out somewhere at around 45 feet. Possibly, actually about 48 feet. But I have a problem out here at 39 feet. So that's going to require me to go out and inspect. So 39 feet comes to the beginning of my top jumper. And it shows me that I do not have a center pin in my cable. So I have a bad cable. So that needs to be replaced. And just to verify where the end of my transmission line is, if I come out here and install a load, a precision 50 ohm load, my marker is right there at 39 feet and I'm down at about neg 18 dB. If I remove the load and connect it open or leave it open, notice how this comes up to about 0 dB. So that is the end of my transmission line. So if I replace my jumper, and connect it to my antenna. Here's my connector out at 39 feet, which was where the end of the cable is. I did not move that marker. I'm going to add another marker and I'm going to put that at about uh, let's say 45 feet so at 45 feet which is the connection going into my antenna that would be this connector. And I can add one more marker and put it at about 48 feet. And right there is where my antenna is, just below the neg 14 dB limit line. There are a couple other peaks here right out there and I'm I'm going to guess if I add another marker and set that to about 6 feet marker 4 is at 6 feet I'm at negative 32 dB my first connection at the top of the first jumper where it goes into my transmission line 